Uh, tell me, you've started this company and you've got it going in a very short space of time. Marley, you know, when you think of Marley, the first thing you think of is music, you know? And when we, we were approached with uh, different companies about um, doing li a license situation where we would just take their product and put your name on the product and that wasn't really intriguing to us. That wasn't really, ex that didn't excite us. We were like, no, we, we, that's not what we really wanted to, wanted to do. But we always had an interest in doing things that in the audio field, you know, as well as the lifestyle movement, you know. So the, the, first, the first instance came about when we met with um, Alon Coffin from Home Medics and um, we decided to create a partnership together, which was the House of Mali, where we would have um, a lot of input and, uh, and direction of where we want to be and how we want to be um, noticed in the world and, and, and um, you know, representing who we really are. And when you came to them and said, no, let's not use so much plastic, well, let's use natural things, well, you know what, did the, people laugh at you, The right? funny thing was this, though. <laughs> um, because um, I, I started myself at a farm in Jamaica, where the farm is 100% organic. Um, we're, we're on a, it's a sustainable movement. The farm sustain the community and create jobs and opportunity. When Alon said to me, listen, if we're gonna do this, one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna bastardize your dad's name, and I'm gonna keep your father's legacy alive. And the only way I know how to do that is through sustainability and believe in your, taking your dad's ideals and, and creating this reality, you know? So <laughs> it, that, that instantly brought a smile on my face and my family's face because dealing in that world you, you, where we're gonna stay away from uh, chemicals, you know? We're gonna use recyclable materials such as aluminum, plastic. We're going to work with uh, fibers, organic hemp and organic cottons and canvas. So when, when, when that tickled our fancy, <laughs> you know. And when it came to the actual technology in terms of the audio quality of these things, you didn't want to buy anybody else's drive units either. You've, you've designed them from the ground up? Yes, we had to because my brothers, you know, Stephen, Ziggy, Damien, Julian, Kimani. I've, I've, as long as I've known myself, they have been in the studio. <laughs> they have spent maybe, if there's 24 hours in a day, they're in the studio 36 hours, you know? <laughs> I mean, they don't know, they don't know anything else. And um, to really get them to accept anything that you're doing, the sound quality has to be superior. So of course we had to, each stage, Steven would have to say yes. It's, you're almost there, you know? But I'm gonna keep using this one till you get there, you know what I mean? So we had to use the, use the expert in, the, in that field to really acquire that sound quality that we were looking for, and then using Steve to really give it a check, you know? <laughs> but just in case there's any confusion, can you only play reggae music through your headphones? <laughs> well, that'll, be, if, if, that'll be ideal, but no, you can't. <laughs> you put Adele through there, does yeah. they, do they melt or something? I mean, <laughs> if you play things that don't make you move, yeah. <laughs> But that would be ideal just to play reggae music and of course everybody should be, you know, listen to reggae music and listen to One Love every day of your life. But no, unfortunately, you can listen to rock, you can listen to hip hop. Not unfortunately, but fortunately enough. <laughs> but some people put out three, four, five products or something. You've gone for about 30. Why so many? There's different type of people in the world, you know. You have young people, you have people that oh, that's more than young, and you have older people, and you have people like me that's really young. <laughs> so we would we couldn't just be one track minded and, or just geared towards one people. We 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 have children, you know. So we have the jamming collection that's geared towards the youth, and then and then you have people that that just on a regular basis they like to walk around with their headphones and travel in purposes and listen to music that want to hear quality sound, you know. And then again, you have DJs and you have musicians. You have guys in the studio that, that's every day with their headsets. So you had to create these tiers for th that, that group fundamentally so it could work for everyone. But that was a fortunate bit of timing, wasn't it? Because this was just about the time when the big over-ear headphones became fashionable again. Yeah, and to us, we, we weren't even thinking about fashion a fashion statement because if you ever looked at some of my dad's videos, you notice he's wearing those headphones, you know, could you be loved? You see him with the headphones, now we're gonna get him in the Molly set, but... <laughs> so, you know, it's really, really um, just taking the inspiration to another level, you know, making your life just more interesting, you know? <laughs> do things that, that you can do, you know, don't limit yourself. Like Bruce Lee say, you know, be limitless. <laughs> now we hear a lot about corporates giving a bit of money away to charity if they want to. 
but you've put this very much as one of the cornerstones of a company. But it's very specific here. A proportion of what I pay when I buy a pair of headphones goes where? Absolutely. It goes towards onelove.org. It's an affinity program that we're partnering up with uh, uh, many charities. Charity Water, Invisible Children, Save the Children, um, the African, African Academy Association. Is that the proper name? African Academy Scholarship. Uh, so it's, it's more than just a charity. What we do, we, we want to create, we have a transparent system where we want, when, you, when you're donating towards onelove.org, you should be able to see the action of what you're donating. You should know what they're doing. And we don't really like work, we don't want to work with just the big guys because the little guys, they're in the community, you know, which geared, are geared towards youth, plants, and feast, so you know what I mean? whole range of things on the stand here at this year's show. What are you working on behind the scenes, Ron? Tell us, what are we going to see next year? What, what you'll see next year is more Marley. <laughs> and you'll continue to see Marley. Like my father say, you know, you're tired to see his face, you know. <laughs> but you can't get him out of the race, <laughs> you know what I mean? So just keep, on, keep your eyes open for the house of Marley because we'll, we'll continue to do good, we'll continue to help people, and we'll continue to support our charity and all the other things that we're doing, you know? Ron, good to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay.